Google Forms, setting an answer key. Now that we have turned on the quiz setting under settings, we need to go through and set our point values and answer keys for all of our questions. Now you will see in the upper right hand corner here that my quiz is currently worth 16 points. This is because I have set the default that every question is worth a point. As I go through and change those point values, my score up here will change. So for example, these first three questions that I have here, last name, first name, and school name, there's no right answer here. This is just me collecting that information. I want to point out it's very important that you always have a space for first and last name when using Google Forms for a quiz, because otherwise you won't know who has actually completed the form. Now, to make these zero points, I'm just going to select my question here, and then I'm going to come in and click Answer Key. You'll see over on the right-hand side, I can go through and set my point value to zero. I'm going to go through and do that for each of these first questions here that are simply collecting that demographic information. Once I've done that, let's take a look at actually setting some correct answers for different questions. So my first one here is a short answer, and this is a type of question that Google will correct. So you'll see here I've already in the answer key option, and I'm going to go ahead and type in my answer. I found that short answer questions work best if it is a one specific answer. Numbers work particularly well because it's going to be very clear to the students, and you don't have to worry about spelling mistakes. So I can type in that answer. I can add multiples if I wanted. And then I also have this option to mark all other answers incorrect. And what that means is if someone uh, were to go in here and put in an answer other than, in this case, 1928, and I didn't have this box marked, then Google is going to leave it blank and award zero points. And I will have to go in and manually fix that. Let's take a look at the next question type. So in this case, this is going to be a multiple, um, this is a multiple choice grid question. When I select this, you're going to see that this entire question is actually worth four points. And the reason for that is Google recognizes that each of my rows is its own separate question. You'll see when I click the answer key option here that I can go through here and set the answers for each of those lines. If I needed to, one line could be worth more points than the other. I would continue to go through and select my correct answers as I am just like I would in any other quiz functionality. Now, one thing that I do have the ability to do, particularly for our multiple choice questions, is to add feedback. I can then say if the student got something incorrect, this is the feedback they would see versus a correct answer. This could be a message, but you'll also see I have the ability to add a link to maybe some type of reteaching document if I needed to, or even a YouTube video. Keep in mind that with that feedback option, that's only going to be visible to students if you select the immediately release uh, scores after they hit submit, because otherwise they won't see any feedback that you provide to them with that manual feedback. So just something to keep in mind.